Today I'm going to be showing you guys the most overpowered thing to do as the United States, and that is how to get rid of the Great Depression as early as March of 1937. Pretty much a year faster than if you were going to do it the normal route of doing WPA, Agriculture Adjustment Act, Fair Labor Standards, and then the Federal Housing Act to finally get rid of it. This is actually going to pretty much bypass this last focus here, and you only have to go down to Fair Standards Labor Act, or the Fair Labor Standards Act. Now, if you do it like I'm going to be showing you guys in this video, you'll still be able to take Neutrality Act, Arsenal of Democracy, and the Giant Wakes and be able to be on Partial Mobe as early as 1938, and I'm talking January or February. Sometimes it does take until about March, though. But anyway, you are still going to stay Democratic. You're going to be able to get rid of the Great Depression in March of 37 and probably go to Partial Mobe in 1938. So currently the list you guys see on the screen right now is the path of focuses you want to take as the United States. Now there are a few very, very important tips that you actually need to follow if you want to do a few things. One, if you want to avoid the Civil War. Two, if you want to stay democratic. And also if you still want to be able to take the Neutrality Act and get partial mob very early. After you do the accumulated wealth tax, you're going to pretty much remember do not do a focus. What I'm going to be talking about is this focus right here. Once you finish this one, don't do a focus for about 20 to 30 days and you'll be able to take Fair Labor Standards Act. And this is what's going to allow you to fully get rid of the Great Depression. Even though it says it only replaced it with slow recovery, it actually will totally wipe out the Great Depression and give you negative 5% consumer goods instead. So now that you guys have seen the path of focuses you need to take, let's go ahead and talk about using your political power for decisions and the people you're going to need in your government to actually do this. First off, with the 150 political power you're going to be getting from continuing to uh, continue the New Deal, make sure you go over here and immediately get a silent workhorse, which is right here. After you've gotten him, the next 150 political power you'll be getting is from WPA. Make sure after you do this first focus, you only do small lobby effort. I'll explain in a minute how to get a huge jump in medium lobby effort really quick without losing any political power in a minute. But after you get WPA, make sure you save that 150 political power and just keep doing small lobby efforts. As long as you have the silent workhorse and you're doing small lobby efforts, you'll be gaining 0 0.08 political power a day and you need to have at least 150 by the time you get suspend the persecution. After you've gotten suspend the persecution, you're then going to use your next 150 political power to actually get the communist revolutionary now after you have gotten the communist revolutionary you're going to do this focus here and then start doing the accumulated wealth tax as soon as you start doing the accumulated wealth tax go ahead into your laws and government and just get rid of the uh, the communist revolutionary if you don't know how to do that pretty much whenever you have somebody assigned to your government you just click on the exact political advisor slot here that they are in you're then going to open it up and then select your political advisor in the top left. It'll ask if you want to dismiss them. You're going to click yes, and that way you stop gaining communism support so you can stay democratic. After you've done that, make sure you wait until the accumulated wealth tax focus has actually finished because that's going to increase your communism support 5%. Now, you should have only about 8%. Communism support if you selected the Communist Revolutionary, then went down Union Representation Act, and then got rid of them as soon as you started this. Once this finishes, you'll end up being at about 13%. With your next 100 political power, once you've gotten rid of him, and once you've completed that focus, you're then going to go to ban communism. Anyway, so once you've actually gotten enough political power available and you've completed the focus, pretty much all you need to do is take ban communism. As long as you have less than 20% communism, and I mean really, it's like 19.99% or less, which you shouldn't really have that big of an issue as long as you follow the guide correctly, you'll be able to get rid of all your communism support, stay 100% democratic, and then you can take the rest of these focuses here. They do absolutely nothing to your communism support except increase your base stability and your war support, and then... You're going to be able to take this one in a minute, and then you're able to do Neutrality Act, and then follow on, and you can go to Arsenal of Democracy, Giant Wakes, and once you do this one here, you'll have enough political power available, hopefully, that you've been able to save about 150 political power back. Once you do Giant Wakes, you will definitely at least be at a minimum of 30% war support, and then you can go straight to Partial Mobe. Now, here are a couple of very important tips that I was saying earlier that aren't going to really make it into the guide. That was the basic guide itself, but there are a few tips to help you along the way. First off, when you can do the medium, uh, uh, gosh, what's it called thing? Whenever you can do the medium lobby effort first. Now, here's how you would do this, okay? Because the United States starts at literally one political power and you start to take the focus, you're then going to only be able to take, well, actually, you can't even take any of these. 
What you can do to fix this is actually cancel out the focus here, go to decisions, click on my, uh, medium lobby effort, and now take the focus. And as you can see, we're at zero political power. We're losing it a day, but we're not actually going in debt. But instead, we are doing the medium lobby effort. So we're getting the bonuses. We're going to get the representatives and the senators on our side, which is very important later on. But we're not actually losing anything there. Also, whenever you get these decisions, it is important to do these as soon as you can, because the more support you have will help you later on, because some of this stuff will require support, like Agriculture Adjustment Act, for example, Union Representation Act, for example, I'm pretty sure, yeah, um, and Accumulated Wealth Tax. So it's very important to keep your uh, Senate and your House support and everything as high as possible. So whenever you can do these decisions, make sure that you do them. Number two, if you did make a mistake somewhere in here and you simply forgot to get rid of your communist revolutionary for some reason if you were not able to get rid of him or you just completely walked away for a few minutes and then came back and you're over 20 percent communist support there's a couple things you can do to actually be able to fix this the reason that would be an issue is because if you're in a historical game or you're trying to do a historical playthrough neutrality act actually requires a minimum of 95 percent for the democratic party so if you go over say 20 percent you're actually at 26 percent and you just completely lost track of time you're going to have to do some things to actually get yourself back on track because your decision here for banning communism will only remove a max of 20 percent so what you can do here is you can't ban communism anymore so you're going to have to start doing anti-communist raids until it gets under 20 percent and then after it's under 20 percent then you can get rid of it you can also institute press censorship which will give you some democracy support every day and if you have to last case scenario you could use 150 political power which i wouldn't recommend it it doesn't help too much but you could get a democratic reformer to give you a little bit more democracy support and that'll hopefully be able to get you right on track. I did this as a mistake when I was first doing this guide and ended up taking about probably until 1938 before I was able to start doing neutrality acts. So be very careful. Three, do not let your communism support go over 20% or uh, yeah. Once you go over 20%, usually you'll start getting decisions and all these other things starting to fire off. What ends up happening is once you go over 20%, the chances for having a civil war in the United States go up higher and higher and higher every bit you go over 20%. And usually once you start getting the events themselves, there's no way to stop it unless you create a new game. So it's very important to keep an eye on this and try to keep it as under 20% as humanly possible. But if you do make a mistake like earlier I mentioned and you are able to get around it, make sure to do it as quick as possible. Also, one other thing. I did forget to mention this focus right here, the Union Representation Act, actually does start an event where the black shirts end up rising up pretty much around the areas and uh, around Washington, D.C. Now, whenever this happens, make sure you pick the one that causes negative 10% stability. If you pick the other one that actually starts to fire off the events for the Civil War while it's under 20%, uh, communism support so make sure whenever you do this you pick the one that I think it's like less blood in the streets or allow them to protest or something it's whatever decision causes negative 10% stability so you guys that's pretty much it now something else I wanted to mention really quick I didn't actually find this out instead a friend of mine told me about it from a hearts of iron force server so far it seems like it is the absolutely largest hearts of iron force server that I have ever actually seen Somebody over there named Sam is, to my knowledge, one of the very first, if not the first person or people to actually be able to find this out. If you guys want to join the server, I'll make sure to uh, go down below and pin a comment up top there that will actually have the information on how to join, how to join the Discord server and everything like that. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. As of right now, it seems as though they have a little bit over 9,000 members and there's almost constantly a Hearts of Iron 4 game going on there. And yes, that is correct. I said 9,000 as in nine zero 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 as in nine k members it is an incredibly huge server and there's pretty much like i said almost always a game going on there and i would highly recommend you guys check it out so anyway again thank you guys for watching i will see you guys next time stay awesome